We're going to talk about in this video micro laser peels. Forgive me, I have a little ringer on my mouth. This is from a COVID mask I was wearing before uh, this video. But I've obviously had to take it off to shoot this video. So before I can talk about what a micro laser peel does or is, we have to put the context of how I use it, okay? So the biggest issue is that when you look at a patient, I've done great fillers, done a great facelift, I've done great rhinoplasty, I've done great Botox, but their skin still looks damaged. You know, it looks, I say, it looks like someone spilled coffee on it and it doesn't look great. Or let's say you do years of Botox and all of this looks young, but all of this skin looks bad. Or this area has been exposed to the sun and it doesn't look as healthy. What are you gonna do? Well, oftentimes people think, well, I've gotta do some you know, big laser peels or big laser treatments. And to me, the answer is sometimes, but that's much more expensive, more downtime, uh, and it may not be applicable to you. So I love doing deeper lasers because to get the really big levels of treatment, you need to go deeper. But I also perform gradations. So I don't look at everything as an on-off switch. There's a gradation from small to big. So let's talk about how to change this outer epidermis. If you look at the accompanying video that I, I just recently shot on microneedle, the microneedle is treating the middle layer, the dermis. The outer layer, the epidermis, is being treated with these micro laser peels. Now, of course, the micro laser peel does make some collagen changes to the dermis, and of course, the microneedle does make some effect to the epidermis, but to make it easier for you to understand, the outer layer is really where I'm focused on today. So, the easiest, least expensive thing that I do is I use a product called Bright Now. It's a prescription strength product, does have, have hydroquinone and various other ingredients, fast changes, makes the skin look amazing. But whenever we talk about epidermis, that's when you don't want to get a lot of sun. I don't want to hear about using this cream all saying where the sun is it's not going to work also. That's actually one lesson I want to back up and explain. If you're getting a ton of sun, whatever I do for you with these superficial epidermal treatments is not that effective and there, the sun is going to bring it back. I say it's like smoking a filtered cigarette. In other words, smoking a filtered cigarette is better than a cigarette, but it's still a cigarette. So sun damage, even with SPF, even if, if you're saying, look, I don't get that much sun, direct rays of sun, like at the beach, still causes issues of, of, of aging. And the fair skin individuals, blonde, blue-eyed, Irish skin, even some Mediterranean skins, should not be getting that much sun. They should not be getting that much sun. If you get sun, is why that's why if you look at two 40-year-olds, two 50-year-olds, two 60-year-olds, one looks so much older, is that that person, besides lifestyle, diet, exercise, et cetera, stress, also has a lot to do with just direct sun exposure. So I back up and just say, look, please try to minimize your sun exposure. I know sun is fun, I know sun is awesome, I know it's great to have a tan, but it also is what causes you to have aging. So, epidermis, that's the focus of this talk. So starting from the lowest end, the uh, Bright Now product that I have here is a product that just cleans up the skin at minimal cost. Again, not too much, you should not get too much sun while you're on it but it, you just put it on a couple times a day, quick, set, you know, and within days your skin looks better. But that's great for someone who says, look, I don't wanna spend a lot of money, I really can't handle downtime, can you make my skin look better? I know it's important, boom, that's the product I go to. The, I've used that product also in all the way to Fitzpatrick 5, 6 is in darker skin. You say, well, are you trying to bleach someone to change your ethnicity? No, it works um, as a tyrosinase inhibitor, so it's focused on abnormal pigment. So it doesn't make a black person white or a black person Hispanic. It's just taking the damaged skin and improving it. So that's why I like this product because it's safe in almost all skin types, not expensive, very effective, and it's a product that I developed myself that works extremely well. Now, the next grade up is a sort of a light micro laser peel. So what is this micro laser peel? Essentially, I like the word peel because I used to do a lot of chemical peels. I did a ton of chemical peels until we got lasers. And with lasers, I get so much more accuracy than I did with the old chemical peels. But it is the peels that I delivered were not as effective, not as deep as some of my current laser treatments. Well, I look at the micro laser peel like my old chemical peels. They were effective, but not to the level that I'm doing these deep uh, lasers that I, that I do in my hands that I deliver. But my staff delivers the micro laser peels that just makes the color of the skin better, the quality of skin, the texture, some of the superficial crepiness looks better. It works hand in hand with micro needle, uh, makes that even better. Uh, and so this is just a light therapy that my staff does for you. It is, uh, you basically put the, the numbing cream on your face for 45 minutes or so. Again, you can use nitrous gas. I mentioned this in the other video with micro needles that just make it more pleasant if you need it, if, it's, if you're uncomfortable, but usually the, the, the numbing cream is enough. In about 30, 45 minutes, you're able to start making some changes in the face, neck, and chest superficially. Typically, it's not a long recovery time. You're basically just um, wearing 
uh, some light makeup called Oxygenetics that really helps heal the skin super fast. So that is, it, it, you know, with this makeup product, you can typically have a pretty fast recovery. Always there's a chance that you could have some pigment change, pigmentation changes that could even last a week or two or even longer. But with the right camouflage, I think the, 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 re, the recovery is much smaller. This, depending on the gradation, whether I do a lighter or a deeper one, is gonna, is gonna tell you how often you need to do it. If it's a light one, you do it every one or two months. If it's a deeper one, it's every three to six months. And so, and those are, have different prices, which you, know, you can talk to my staff about that. So you can buy them as series or packages to do that. So again, this video is talking about a light therapy that my staff does for the outer surface damage. That's somewhere between the light uh, bright now product all the way to the deeper lasers that I offer and so hopefully that this video gives you a good understanding of how important sun pr protection is how important and how easy this therapy is for you and the role within the spectrum that I have oh one more thing I'm sorry um, this therapy unlike the market needle unlike the bright now is really not safe past the Fitzpatrick 4 that means Hispanic Asian skin so once we get into light Indian um, light African American I will not offer this therapy it goes up to a Fitzpatrick 4 so Fives and sixes are light skin Indian to dark skin Indian, light skin African to large, dark skin African. This therapy is not safe in that particular uh, subset of individuals.